Intel has been dominating the CPU market for almost two decades, but has been particularly more dominant from 2006 to 2019. With the launch of Ryzen CPUs in 2017, AMD started gaining some of the CPU market shares steadily, but it was 2019 which saw a dramatic increase in CPU sales thanks to AMD's powerful Zen 2 based Ryzen 3000 CPUs. The gap closed even further with the launch of Ryzen 5000 family that once made AMD the major CPU manufacturer with a little over 50% of the total market share at the end of 2020. However, Intel did not give up and launched the 12th gen Alder Lake series, which completely changed the market in favor of the company. And as of today, Intel holds around 70% of the total CPU market. Now the competition is going back and forth every quarter. And if you analyze the CPU share of both companies, it looks like AMD is again making some good gains with now over 30% of the total CPU market share. But what is the current progress of both companies in the first quarter of 2023? Is it going in favor of Intel which owns CPUs with several times more cores than AMD or is AMD still gaining the market by significant price reduction of its CPUs? Well, according to the recent report published on Seeking Alpha, analyst Christopher Rowland says that Intel is actually looking better now than previously. He says that AMD is no longer gaining a share in the PC space because Intel has a better product roadmap right now. He therefore moved Intel's rating from negative to neutral because Intel's PC business has started to stabilize. Now don't take any financial advice from me because I'm not qualified to do so but what I can see from the current market is that it is not going to be easy for Intel to easily gain a lot of market share quickly. This is because with a significant reduction in prices of AMD CPUs from both 5000 and 7000 families, the sales of AMD CPUs have been much more than Intel recently. If we check the current CPU sales from Mine Factory, AMD contributes to almost 68% of total CPU sales where Zen 3 CPUs are selling several times more than Intel CPUs. Here the Ryzen 5800X 3D is particularly selling like hotcakes. This is also similar to the CPU sales on Amazon.com and while this is not exactly like this here, the top 10 CPU sellers in the CPU category mostly comprise Ryzen 5000 CPUs with 5600X leading at the number one spot because of selling for just over $150. Similarly, all other Ryzen 5000 CPUs are incredibly cheaper compared to their original pricing where one can buy a 6 core 5500 for just under $100. But one important thing to remember is that these cheap CPU prices from AMD might not sustain for a long time. Because once the Ryzen 5000 inventory is out of stock, Intel will again take over with its Raptor Lake series as they are selling more than 7000 CPUs whether you consider the US or European market. This is why even though AMD might be doing great right now, Intel might soon take over with over 70% of the market share again. The only hope for AMD will now be to lower prices of Ryzen 7000 CPUs even further or release the rumored Phoenix APUs on the AM5 platform as soon as possible. Nevertheless, AMD is looking quite well when it comes to laptops because the newest 7000 lineup for mobile devices is looking better than ever. In a recent leak on Chip Hell forums, a user posted Cinebench R23 score of 7845HX which uses Zen 4 architecture and is aimed at high-end gaming and professional users. The laptop used for the benchmark was an ASUS ROG gaming laptop with an RTX 4060. In the multi-core test, the 7845HX scored a good 25,000 points on default clocks but when overclocked to 5.45 GHz, its multi-core score increased by 14% to reach 28,500 points making it the second fastest laptop CPU right now after the i9-3980HX that scores 30,500 points. What's interesting is that even though Intel CPU outperforms it by 11%, we should not forget that the Intel chip comes with double the core count of 7845HX. What is more impressive is that the 7845HX consumes around 127 watts max when overclocked and still delivers an equivalent score to the desktop 7900X which consumes around 200 watts for the same multi-core score. Seeing this, I believe that the 7945HX will easily outperform the 3980HX with overclocking and that too at lower power consumption. And talking about overclocking, the famous German overclocker Der Bauer just messed up with his recent overclocking experiment on 7950X3D. 
He recently visited the ASUS headquarters and started his overclocking experiment on the 3D CPU on an ASUS ROG Crosshair X670E Extreme motherboard. But when he found out that he could increase the voltage of this CPU, he increased the voltage from 1V volt to 1.35V. It ran completely fine until he decided to bump up the voltage to 1.55 volts as he was using a liquid nitrogen cooling solution. The result was catastrophic as the 7950X 3D was not able to even enter the OS because it was dead already. Although it was shocking to Durbauer but it's no surprise that it could happen because a voltage jump to 1.55 volts is pretty massive for any CPU, particularly the 7950X 3D which was already running between 85 to 90 degrees at 1.35 volts. AMD recommends a maximum operating temperature of 89 degrees Celsius for this chip and going further is definitely not recommended because 3D CPUs are not good at overclocking. The overclocker has reported this problem to ASUS because the company will now have to limit the maximum voltage one can attain with this CPU. This experiment should also be a good lesson for newbie overclockers because achieving a 5% higher score on the cost of your CPU's life is not worth it. Let me know if you also think that extreme overclocking doesn't make sense for most PC owners. Hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe for more stories like this. Make sure to turn on the notifications if you want to get notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you in the next one.